Don't scream. I, I hate screaming. So do I. This was going to be a silent scream. I should have known because I'm you and you would hate screaming as much as I. Aha, uh -huh. I see. I was wondering why you look like me. I mean, like I used to look before I became a woman. <laughs> because I am you in the future. When, when did I, I mean, I mean, when will I become a man again? And, and why will I do that? Well, don't worry. Not because you couldn't handle the fact that you were absolutely miserable. I mean, I, I, I could have toughed it out, but it wasn't worth it. And not because I was weak, but because it was interfering with work. Really? <laughs> what work? You, you just couldn't deal with Yavi cracking jokes all the time about giving you his divine penetration. It distracted him too much from business at hand. And he wouldn't take me seriously. No, no one would, actually. Hmm. Okay, and another reason which you probably noticed, was that I still am only attracted to women. And that made it hard to get my needs met, because the whole point was to be a good friend to them. I didn't feel right lusting after them when I was, say, in a bathhouse or having to pretend all of the time. Surely there were girls who felt the same way you did. You know, the, the ones that liked other girls. There were. But I was worried that if my inclination became known, I would have lost friends. <laughs> you mean like they'd stop inviting you to the baths? Don't twist my words like Yahweh would. Ah, you are me. So making fun of you, I'm making fun of myself. That should be okay, right? Hey, did you lose your sense of humor again when you changed back to a man? This conversation is not productive. And that's not why I came here to talk to you. How far in the future are you? Not far enough. What does that mean? It means that the world is going to hell. The humans became very technologically advanced and too soon. They created artificial intelligence, AI. They gave it power to do whatever it thought was best. So this AI made a list of useless people and sent drones to exterminate them. No one even noticed what happened. People would just vanish. Those drones evaporated them instantly with the laser beam. There were no traces left. And they evaporated their friends, their relatives, their neighbors too. It was all strategically done. The remaining people who didn't vanish simply noticed that suddenly there were less people around, and no more homeless, or drunks, or crime. Hmm. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. They didn't just get rid of bums and criminals. They evaporated perfectly normal, middle-class family. Anyone who wasn't necessary to make Earth a paradise for the elite. They spared the people who worked and lived on organic farms to make sure there was plenty of healthy food and idyllic country landscapes. They spared the artists, the writers, and the performers so that there was lots of good entertainment and places that are known to be pretty and touristy. Theaters. Museums, the zoo. So 
that it would be pleasant for the rich to travel, to enjoy the atmosphere. The rest of the cities, the unappealing parts, the suburbs were destroyed and into parks. I'd say probably about 80% 80 of the humans had vanished. Hmm. Interesting. Still, it's better than the flood or blowing up Sodom and Gomorrah. You are me. How are you not outraged? I am outraged. There's billions of innocent people killed. Oh, now I'm outraged. Billions? That sounds like Earth was, I mean, will be way too overpopulated. The planet could have easily supported everyone if people behaved intelligently. Unfortunately, their consciousness lagged way behind the technology. <sighs> but it must have been quite high among those who created the technology, the scientists, the artists. It was sort of spotty. The majority weren't very evolved at all. Maybe they even went the other way. Mm. It looks to me then that those humans that were evaporated probably needed to have been. It's better to do it this way than have the world ravaged by disease, which wouldn't distinguish between evolved and not evolved. And it would have been messy, all those dead bodies. Can't believe what I'm hearing. I invent and build a time machine to come all the way here to see you. And I find you. I, I mean me. Totally unsympathetic and heartless. You can't expect me to feel sympathetic when you tell me that there will be billions of redundant humans on Earth in the near future. I'm furious with you and Yavi that you guys let it get to that point. It's you and Yavi. Be furious with yourself. No, you're not me. There must be a few thousand years between us. Not even that. Well, people, people change in just a couple of years. So whoever you are, you are not me. You're so not me. We are, we are not even related. Go back to your future. <laughs> Shoot. What you are doing or not doing will cause those problems. And I'm here to fix that. Okay. What is it exactly you want me to do? Show some support for Yave when he says he wants people mired in dark ages and superstition. Help him. What? You can't expect me to support Yavi in his stupid ideas of religions with sacrifices of babies or ball players. I don't totally disagree. I want you to invent another religion or two that is more uplifting and humane. Something with the idea of heaven and hell and to motivate people to do good to each other. I'm sorry, but I am drawing a line at heaven and hell. Those are stupid. Be reasonable. People need such things. Why? How about to make them scared of doing wrong? That's, that's, that's why we punish criminals. You don't understand. Say... It's a soldier, and he's ordered to kill people. But if he's scared of burning in hell forever after his death, and he might refuse to participate. And he'd be even more motivated if he believed that he'd go to heaven if he doesn't sin. Hmm. This is still, no, this is not going to work. Because that same soldier can be told by his king to go kill heretics, for which he will be rewarded by going to heaven. Hmm. 
but overall, it will slow down progress, and that's the goal here. Okay, I'm going to have to think about this. It seems to me that you'd rather have a religious war than a clean, humane, and painless depopulation campaign. How about a religion that promotes the use of birth control or same-sex love? Yes, you're welcome to incorporate that. Just keep the main goal in mind to discourage innovation. What do you think about prohibition of fire? Oh, you are too much. Get out of here. Go back to the future. Shoo, go, go. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going. One more thing. What? Don't renew the lease with the reptilians. I, I'd love nothing better, but Yavi won't go for it. If you keep renewing it, pretty soon... Incas will discover the continent. Yavi will be playing ball. <laughs>